chord function. It doesn't sound like an inspiring subject, but it's one of those behind the scenes things that makes music work. The concept of chord function is a bit like geography. You have somewhere you call home. You have neighbours close to home and you make journeys that take you away from home and then you return home. Home is somewhere different for everyone, but the concept or function of home, neighbours, away and returning stays the same. Translate that idea to music and it means that there is a, a function, a character, a sense of place or direction for each chord, no matter what the key. I want to look at chord function in a major key. A major key is made up of seven different notes. The eighth one is just a repeat of the first. This is C major, and on each of the notes you can build a chord, simply stacking up notes from the key. So these are the chords of C major. As well as having a chord symbol, we can give each chord a function number, simply based on the step of the scale, 1 through to 7. Roman numerals are used for this. So chord 1 is the tonic or keynote chord, 2 is on the second step of the scale, and so on. Chord 1 is, not surprisingly, home. It's the chord we return to during a song to make the progression of chords feel like it's come home to rest. But all the other chords can give the harmony a sense of direction or place too. Listen to the movement from chord 1 to chord 4. It's a definite step away. And if we move to chord 5, it creates an anticipation that we are returning home again. So chord 4 is an away chord, while 5 is a returning chord. Chord 2 is another away chord. Two of its notes overlap with the notes in chord 4, so they are very similar. Chords 3 and 6 are neighbours. They don't feel so far removed from the home chord because they have notes that overlap the notes in chord 1. When the progression moves to either chord 3 or 6, it doesn't feel like it's gone so far away as chords 2 or 4. And chuck chord 5 in anywhere to make the progression returning. Chord 7, it's the odd one out because it's neither major nor minor and tends to get used as a passing chord. String some chords together and let's see if we get a sense of geography. So I've tried to show that chord 1 is home, chords 2 and 4 take us away, chords 3 and 6 are neighbours, chord 5 is a returning chord and 7 is well odd. But do you agree? Mm -hmm.